Hey, welcome back. Today I wanted to cover one of the myths that I find in the javelin throw. So one of the myths that I often find in the javelin throw is what people call the power position or the reverse C position. Now, I don't want to go over too many details in the power position because there are so many components that make up the power position. Some folks describe the reverse C position as an open chest and leaning back into this position here. Now, the reverse C, the reason it's called a reverse C is because if you look from my right foot to my right hand, it creates this C, the C position, okay? Now, one of the common mistakes that I find in the way that folks describe that, and that is they, they, they say that you've got to lean back with an open chest. In fact, I see a lot of folks do javelin drills this way where they're taking a javelin, two hands, and they're, they're arching their back this way, and then they're trying to push the javelin through. I have seen it done also this way with the left foot forward, and they're leaning back this way, and they're trying to come up and out of it. The reality is that it's not a very powerful position. So instead of having an open chest into your throw, you need to have a closed chest. Okay, now I like to get the left shoulder open right through here. Okay, so the left shoulder is on its way to open, but really the chest is still back. Okay, so from in this, this position here, the power position is actually here. If you notice that my chest is still facing out this direction, okay, my left arm is down and out of the way. So now the hip's going to continue to move through the throw and that's going to turn me up and deliver my throw. So from a side position here, again, I want to avoid opening my chest to the throw this way. I want to keep the chest closed off this way. So as I get my left arm down and out of the way here, you can see that reverse um, C, okay, the power position. So from here, my right hip is going to keep moving me up through that block, okay, from here, and then I'm going to rotate up and over my left leg and produce my throw. Give you another angle here. All right, so I'm just going to go through that throwing motion really quick and kind of give you an idea of the transfer of energy that's happening here. So I start on my right foot. I'm going to move into my block, and you'll see that reverse C position, okay? So there's the reverse C position. My right hip is moving through that block as far as it can possibly go, and then upper body is going to roll and finish my throw. When I do this position, I don't hold the position. Um, I've done enough of these drills. I could probably hold that position for a while. But if you were to open the shoulders and try to hold this position, this is a very awkward position that would wear me out pretty fast. If I go here, there's a lot less tension going on here. I can feel the tension on the right hip. Okay. And then from this position here, I can kind of feel like my right leg is starting to get on fire because that's where most of my weight is. But that knee, that hip, and then I'm going to turn up and finish my throw. When you're doing this uh, power position, my suggestion is you don't sit in that power position for, for very long. Use that power position as a way to communicate hip movement, hip separation from the shoulder, and get through the position. Don't waste your time sitting there. Really go from that right foot, use the hip, separate it from the shoulder, uh, transfer from the hip into that right arm, and you should be able to go right through that power position, and it should feel relatively loose, relatively efficient, and you shouldn't feel any strain on your back. So one of the common mistakes with this power position thing uh, unfortunately, there's this myth that you, can, that you need to pull your left arm back when you throw. And the reality is if you pull that left arm back into your throw, you're going to get into this open chested position here and you're going to hurt your back. So if I open up my left arm here, I'm going to open up my shoulders too early and I can already feel there's a lot of tension going on in my back right now. So instead of, instead of pulling back on that left arm, I'm just going to drop it out of the way and move into this way, moving into my throw this direction. 
So again, keep the shoulders closed. Don't pull back with the left arm so that your shoulders open up too early. You're gonna roll your body over that, that left block and transfer the energy, not stopping it, but transferring or deflecting that energy. I like to describe it like casting with a fishing pole. You're casting through here and then accelerating off the top. Some people describe it as a whip. You can also describe it that way because it's the same basic motion through here and accelerating up off the top. But the big myth behind it is that I don't want you to open your chest. It's not from here throwing, it's from here, okay? It's a rotational movement that rolls up and over that block, uh, transferring that energy into your throw. It's not from here. This is not it, okay? It's not a bowing motion. It's a twisting motion, moving up high, finishing up over the top. Well, I hope that was helpful. If you have questions along the way, uh, send me an email, shallie at coachhallie.com. If you'd like to see more instructional videos similar to this, but maybe a little bit more professional, uh, go to my website, coachhallie.com. I've got a bunch of instructional videos on there, including drills and exercises that you can download. So uh, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button, share this with all your friends, hit that bell notification so each time I upload a new video, you'll get notified. And until I see you next time, have fun and grow far.